small watch the clock hey what's up everybody so nice to be back on the camera and uh, shooting a nice little uh, video for you today and uh, we're talking about Oakdale Avenue right here in St. Catharines or uh, kind of on the cusp of St. Catharines and Meriton um, it's got a funny little boundary uh, some of you might know that Hartzell Road and Merritt Street kind of uh, go together right uh, halfway through the street. It's very bizarre. But Merritt was a big uh, industrial area. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Oakdale because it was a huge area for manufacturing and now it's going to be uh, a lot of housing. A lot of housing is happening and why I'm doing this is one day I was driving down Oakdale and I just saw all these public notice boards and uh, posters up continuously uh, driving down the street. So I'm like, what is happening? So this is what we're talking about today. This is Clifford's Park on Oakdale. But right here, they are building Oakdale Commons, which is a three-story, $5 million project that is being put on, uh, that is being built by the, in conjunction, I guess, with the YWCA of Niagara. And there's a little, uh, poster of what's, what it's going to look like. Pretty amazing. So a three-story assisted living in some capacity, I'm, I'm assuming. But uh, they've owned this property for quite a long time. And uh, oh, and being helped out by Cortec, which is uh, the architectural firm that took over the uh, Royal Bank downtown at uh, Queen and King. So yeah, that's just one of the projects. We're going to uh, dive into a couple more. Be right back. So one of the areas of Oakdale that's kind of not been the greatest is around here. This this house caught on fire in July, and uh, I guess there was a propane tank uh, left out in front, and uh, the whole thing got. This is a pretty nice car, Pontiac. I can't remember what that is. Oh, Firebird. That's a Firebird. It's a nice car. Back in the day. But yeah, this was uh, done in July. Wow, it's nasty. Now another part of Oakdale that some would remember is the uh, old outlaw biker gang uh, hangout it was actually in this location and it was torn down in 2010 and these uh, nice semi-detached homes were built. So that was a definite positive for Oakdale, getting rid of that biker gang. So here's the next location. It's, uh, we're about one, f well this says it's gonna be 112 Oakdale. But a huge development here. This is about a seven acre parcel of land. There used to be some manufacturing business here and I have no idea what it was. If anyone knows, I'd love to know. There's some land in the back here that's actually owned by PPG. They've owned that for quite a while. So that PPG, obviously properties, uh, the builders, and they're going to obviously build something. So we're a little, we're a little further down the road here on Oakdale. Um, behind me here is the uh, old Hayes Dana land. Uh, it's been bought by a company called Foster and Forge. They purchased it last year or 2018 I believe and now it's just uh, they've turned it into a storage, Econo Storage. And uh, But it is in conjunction with another company called 55 Oakdale Suites and uh, they bought the other parcel. So there's 13 acres in, in uh, and it's all been zoned R4, which means the highest amount of density of uh, housing. Wow, it's busy here. This is, what is this? It's a Sunday morning. I don't know if everyone's going to church or whatever, but it's busy down here. <laughs> anyway, we're off to the next location because uh, there's still more happening on Oakdale. And I wanted, I actually wanted to show you one thing. Like back in the day, Oakdale Avenue was home to some of the most beautiful homes in the city. Places like this. Beautiful. Look at that. Look there. So, a, a few nice houses still on the street. I'm here by this car uh, mechanic and a uh, bit of an eyesore. I mean, Oakdale's always had a bit of a bad rap and you know, it's not always been the prettiest. So this is a good thing. They're, they're starting to clean it up at the third location right now. And this is another project um, right on Oakdale. There was a house obviously right there. And that was torn down. And now Karenwood Homes, Properties, Investments are going to build this right here. A pretty amazing project. Um, and we are right across the street from um, Phelps. Uh, builders are building um, 
another part of a little subdivision there. Here we are at another site, and this is uh, behind the Econo storage, which is right here in the old Hayes Dana. I think I, I'll put a picture up of the uh, what it used to look like way back in the day. But this site here is going to be another, uh, possibly another uh, four or five, maybe up to six unit uh, townhouse. That's what this is going to be. And I believe there's still another development happening over in this location back there for a seniors development. Lastly, this is St. James Lofts, and this is a this is an amazing 15 uh, luxury apartments going in here. There are they're for sale right now. One bedroom, uh, two bath is 389, and they're for sale by my friends at McGar Realty and Angela. Backert, but uh, I'll put a link to the description of these. But this is the old uh, St. James Church on the corner of Merritt and Oakdale, and this is uh, going to be an amazing project 15 units. So, you know, a lot is happening in the city, and it's great to see that so many areas are being revitalized and, um, you know, old brown fields hopefully uh, repurposed into housing and residential because that's what we need here and we need to turn these areas into better living conditions for everyone there's more affordable housing that's what we all need but the other part of this is is that you have to think if you are a business and you think that possibly with this amount of building and this amount of residential uh, uh, building going on then maybe it's a situation that uh, you might want to open a business or invest in this area because there's gonna be a lot more people living in this area. So um, that's the Oakdale Avenue story and what's going on. So lots of projects, amazing. And hey, it's always a pleasure to talk to you.